friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Jackie. And let's get started. Okay, I'm about to open my boo box, or should I say my boo package. <laughs> and this came from Ellie from DIY from House to Home. And let's see what she gave me. Oh my goodness. Okay. She gave me some peonies. Ooh, these are pretty. Pretty. A little spooky. Oh. <laughs> uh, some mesh tube. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I have an idea. Okay, a couple of wooden pieces. A star and a flower. <laughs> some teacher note cards. <laughs> oh, Ellie, you're going to get it. <laughs> Oh, look at this, a berry pick. Cute. She gave me a lot of stuff. Oh, look, a little friend pad. Or not a pad, a stamp. A little stamp. Friends giving. Okay. Oh, these are cute. I like these. Cute, 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 okay. That's easy to incorporate into something. <laughs> Some watercolors. Oh my goodness. Just give me a note. Okay, this cardboard sign or what is it? Not a sign. Yeah, double-sided street sign. <laughs> One and a melon. <laughs> and life is a peach. Okay, that's easy. Okay, some of this sparkle mesh in the orange and black. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And then a cute little card. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed these fun craft items. I can't wait to see what you make. Happy crafting, Ellie. Oh, all right, let's get started. For DIY number one, I lost the footage to the beginning of this DIY but I used this double-sided cardboard sign that was in my bag, my boo bag. And I went in with the Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, full coverage, and I used pieces of this tablecloth that I had on hand, and I adhered it with this Mod Podge, this dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I like to use dishwasher safe Mod Podge because I'm in Florida and it's so humid, so that's what I like. Anyway, just like this, I got another full coverage on the top until it looks like this. So now, now that it's nice and dry, now I'm going to go in with two cut files from the, the Cricut Design Space. And all I'm going to do is just peel these off and put them on my sign. So just like this, super easy, super quick, and very effective. The witch is in. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this one that says my pretties is one that I actually created using one of the fonts in the design space. And I'll have that linked in my description box. But look how cute, the witch is in my pretties. And you'll see who my pretties are. Yes, this has a meaning for sure. And now we'll just do a quick dry brushing on the wording and that is it for this one. And we'll get a closer look at the final reveal. Okay, so this is the Boo Box Halloween collab and it is hosted by Learn the Conjurer. And there are seven of us participating in this Halloween Boo Box collaboration. So we each sent each other a Boo Box filled with all kinds of goodies, Halloween goodies and some random challenge items. And so we're each to create whatever we'd like that's Halloween oriented, Halloween themed. And there's a playlist that's associated with this collaboration. And so to get the full scope of what everybody sent each other and what everybody created, you have to watch the full playlist. And so it'll be linked in my description box. And all you have to do is click the link and it'll take you to the full playlist. For DIY number two, I picked up this witch from the Dollar Tree. Yes, this was from the Dollar Tree. 
I couldn't believe it. I thought, wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> so I'm snipping off her little hanger. We're not going to need it. And she is really cute. So she's bendable. She's got arms that bend. Perfect. She's wearing a purple creepy cloth. So I'm going to go in with this Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. And I'm going to do a dry brush on her warts. <laughs> Yeah, she's got some warts, one on her chin and one on her nose. So I'm going to go in and do that. And I'm also going to go in and, and dry brush her eyebrows. And I also do uh, all her wrinkles. I don't do it right now, but I, I go back later and do some more. So now I'm going to use my second item. I used my first item um, with that sign earlier. Now I'm going to use this watercolors paint kit feel like I'm a five-year-old again <laughs> and I'm just going to use this to paint her eyes to make them look a little bit spooky a little bit more full a little bit uh eerie and yeah I used there you go I used that item that item's done and now I'll go in with some more of the Waverly chalk paint and I'll do her teeth she's got a few teeth so I'm going to paint them black and make them look make them pop out a little bit more just a little more details to her face look she's looking cute and her head moves look did you see that her head moved <laughs> oh my goodness okay so here i go again and i'm going to do a little bit on her wrinkles so i'll do her cheekbones and later i do her forehead as well but for now this is how she's looking looking cute so now I'm going to give her a little hat and these came from the Dollar Tree. This, these were from my stash and I chose this orange one because one of my items in my boot box has orange in it. So I figured this would go well with it. So I'm just going to hot glue it on top of her head and I'll set her aside because she's done for now. For DIY number three, I'm going to use another one of my boot box items and this is the pack of cards, note cards, and I'm just going to use one envelope. Yep, that is it. One little envelope. And I'm going to go in with this Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. But first I'm going to seal up the envelope because I need it to just sit flat. And you'll see at the end where this will be at. So I'm just going to go in with the Waverly chalk paint and give it a full coat. And set it aside to dry and we'll see it later on at the final reveal. Okay, so another part of DIY number three. Is going to be I'm using these three little peat pots from my stash and I'm going to just go in with the Waverly chalk paint and do a dry brushing on it just to give it a little bit of of uh, that old look a little bit like it's been sitting around dirty like a witch it belongs to a witch yeah <laughs> so here I have some styrofoam pieces and I'm just going to stick them in there and in hindsight, I should have put some rocks in the bottom because my flowers become top heavy, but I do remedy that later on and you'll see that. But for now, they're in there now, so we'll continue. So now I'm going to use some of this purple mesh tubing and I'm going to use it in a very unconventional way. Definitely not what it's supposed to be used for because it's just how I roll. <laughs> yeah. So here I'm taking the peonies and I'm going to snip them off their base like this and I'm going to take each stem of this of these peonies and I'm going to put them through some of this tubing and I'm going to I'm going to put it through quite tight because when I put it in the flower pot it's going to be very bent almost very whimsical and magical. Yeah, like it's been enchanted. See, like, look at this. Like it's been enchanted by the witch. <laughs> here, you saw where it fell down. Okay, so here now I'm going in with the rocks because yeah, it's gonna be too top heavy. And I end up doing this to all the flowers and I do two flowers per pot. So I'll just keep working it until they look like this. So look at that how they kind of curve yeah like they're very enchanted by the witch <laughs> oh 
Oh my goodness, I, just, I get into it too much. <laughs> okay, so here I'm just securing all these uh, flowers and tubing. And now I'm going to go in with this sparkle mesh. Oh my goodness, this stuff is like glitter city. It's like, thanks a lot, Ellie. <laughs> glitter, oh man. It's pretty design, it's really pretty. But that glitter, whoo. Let me tell you, Ellie sent me some great embellishments. Yeah. Thank goodness I had plenty of other items because th these were all embellishments. <laughs> okay. So now, so now I put some of that tube meshing in all the pots. And so here I'm taking the berry garland and popping them off the wire. And I'm just going to adhere one to each of the center of each of the flowers because these are going to become eyeballs. Yeah, these flowers are going, are going to be the witch's pretties, the my pretties. So here I'm going to go in with a marker, just a standard marker, and I'm going to just draw some eyeballs, some like the iris and all that, and the pupil. Yeah, look at that. Just real simple, and I'll do all of them in this manner until they all look like this, my pretties. This will be her pretties. Okay, so now here I'm going to go in with some more of this fantastic glitter mesh. <laughs> and I'm just going to fold it a few times and I'm going to tie it around the pot just to make the pot give it a little bit more, a little bit more detail to it. And I'll just tie it really tight in a double knot, but I'll fluff up the ends to almost look like a bow. And I'll do this to all the pots as well. But look at that. Cute, cute, cute. So see the colors, the blues, the purples, the oranges. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with one of these little wood pieces. I'm going to use some of the Waverly Chalkin in the color Melo. And I'm going to paint this flower in this color. And I'm going to show you how I like to paint these items that can get real messy. Well, you see that I made a mess there with the paint, but I'm talking about my fingers. I like to use these clamps to hold on to things and so then I'll do a full paint and I'll even stand them up like that yeah okay so here it is nice and dry and now I'm going to go in with one of my other challenge items and this one is the rub-on transfers which are really pretty too but let me tell you something about these things these gold ones oh my goodness they are so difficult to transfer oh my goodness oh my goodness you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute so I decided to use the word whatever <laughs> and you'll see in the final reveal the whole meaning of this <laughs> so I'm just gonna uh, peel the transfer piece off and place it on my flower and I'm going to scrape this thing and I'm going to scrape this thing and I'm not gonna show you everything because it was a little bit yeah a little bit much <laughs> But I finally get it to where it was, looks kind of decent. And so I peel off the front. And let me show you how it looks once I peel it off. Look at that. What? What a mess. So now I'm going to go in with this gold marker from the Dollar Trees. It's actually for glass. But hey, it works for wood too. Because it did a great job. So I'm just going to fill in all the letters with this. And... That works good enough for me. So there we go. Another challenge, challenge item done. So now I'm going to give this flower a stem and I'm just taking the base piece of those peonies and I'm putting some of the tube meshing on it and I'm going to add a dab of glue so it'll stay and I'll hold it with my clamps. Allow that to dry. In the meantime, I'll go in with the Waverly Chalk Pen in the color Ink again. And I'll do a dry brushing on this flower, which holding it this way, is it just me or does this not look like a gingerbread man? Look, I'll show you right here. Doesn't that look like a gingerbread man? Yes, it does. <laughs> it absolutely does. <laughs> so now you know. For Christmas DIYs, if you want a gingerbread man, pick up these flowers. Look at that. Gingerbread man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm going to use my, well, I think my final item. I think this is my final item. Yeah, I think it is. So my little stamper, and all I'm going to do with this, 
is I'm going to remove the rubber part and I'll set that aside for another usage and I'm going to use the Waverly chalk paint and the color ink again and I'm going to give this little piece of wood a full coverage and so this little piece of wood is going to be a part of DIY number four so I'll just paint this up set it aside and allow it to dry and we'll see it in a little bit okay so now here is my stem nice and dry and I'm going to add a huge glob of glue on top and making sure I don't burn my hand because this is a lot of glue and I'm just going to adhere it to the back of the flower and once it's dry now it's ready to go into the pot and so I'll place it inside the pot so this is going to be the flowers little message to the witch saying whatever <laughs> for DIY number four I am taking this really pretty candle from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go in with the Waverly chalk paint and the color ink and I'm going to paint it up on the outside and a little bit on the inside just the rim until it looks like this and look at that it looks like a cauldron yes it looks like a cast iron cauldron so now I'm going to take some of these glass stones from my stash and some of this enamel paint by Folk Art that's also for glass and I'm going to paint them all up like this and then here's my little piece that I painted earlier and I'm going to glue this to the bottom of my little cauldron. So I'm just going to add three dabs of glue and place this little wood piece just to make the cauldron rise a little bit. Yeah, so like this. And since this is an actual candle, we will be lighting it up. Yes, we will. Okay, so now I'm going to add my little stones in here. So I had shown four stones, but I actually did eight because it needed a little bit more than four so here I'm adding all these little stones and since these stones are glass and since the enamel paint was for glass we can light this up no problem okay ready for the final reveal I'd like to take a moment and thank Learn the Conjurer for bringing us all together to do this Boo Box collaboration. It's been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And I want to thank Ellie for gifting me all these fantastic embellishments. I had a lot of fun creating with all the items she sent me. And don't forget to head on over to my description box below and click the playlist link so you'll be able to see what everybody sent each other. And what we all created this is a really fun challenge especially with halloween theme okay i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did please give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and to my next video stay healthy safe and strong and have a great great day Bye bye